All right. This is my very first time going live. This is crazy. But I'm going to try it. Ooh, this is scary. This is scary. Ooh. Ooh. So, I'm live. And I'm making um, an Escovich fish. I don't do this, y'all. I really don't. But I am putting myself out there doing a new thing this year. This is crazy. Anyway, so an escovitch is a Caribbean dish. I'm doing it with um, some scotch bonnet pepper, red, green, sweet onion. Later on, I will attach another video that shows me cutting this up. A coconut, yeah. A pint of water came out of that. Coconut water. And this is the coconut meat that came out. This um, is what I'm going to add to the escovitch. Okay? I cannot believe I'm live. I don't do this. I don't go live. I have not had a drink of wine or anything that would possess me to do something so crazy. But I'm live in these streets. So while while the veggies are going, I'm live. Um, I toasted some spices. Okay, I'm going to show you the spices I used. So I got a little bit of red pepper in there. You don't have to use red pepper if you don't want to, but I do. A little bit of nutmeg. That's going to change your life. A little bit of ginger. Hey, Stephen Darnell. So it is, that's what I was saying. So Stephen Darnell Summers knows what I mean. So I went to Publix. My, um, the guy that normally orders my fish was not there. Ty right down the street here at uh, Steel Creek. But they had um, some perch. I'm gonna show you the perch. So the perch is not red snapper, okay? But perch is less expensive and it's a sturdy enough fish that it's gonna hold up against the vinegar, okay? So this is, you can use perch in escovitch, you can use whatever you want. But, um, like I said, I didn't, I, he didn't have the snapper, so I had to find an alternative. I am live. What? I don't do this. It's crazy. It's crazy. Okay, anyway. Um, let me clean off my area. So, y'all, I actually started recording about an hour ago, but I was scared to go live. I was scared. I don't do that. That ain't me. But I said, well, let's try a new thing. Let's see what the people say. You trying to get sugar pearls out there? Let's let's see what it do. Okay. So I've got my um my veggies that have ooh, ooh, ooh they're getting nice and tender. That's beautiful. I'm not trying to get them brown. I'm just trying to get them tender. Alright. And then I'm going to pull that off in just a bit. But what I did was toasted my, um, a few spices that go in the fish sauce. Now, the key when toasting spices, you are not toasting spices so that they turn brown. Hey, Vanessa Diamond Lawson. Okay, when you're toasting your spices, you are trying to really bring the aroma out of it. So you'll know that they're toasted when the aroma just hits you. And you're like, oh, woo, pull it off the fire. Pull it off. 
because you don't want to scorch them and that go all through your sauce okay don't do that um so that's what i had in the pot i also cut up some lemons lime um what else did not have any malt vinegar but the beauty about making your own recipe is you can put whatever in it you want and i did so I'm going to actually use red wine vinegar, which is good because it's going to give you the sweet and acidity that you need for the sauce. Okay? It'll come together, I promise you. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Did I tell y'all the secret about my pots? So my pots, I need new pots. I really do. Let me show you this one. It's so cute. I know they're ugly. They're they're not they're not Wolfgang Pucks or nothing like that. But my friend, my brother, um, Thomas Horton. Thomas and I were working at Allenbrook Elementary. He was the cafeteria supervisor there, and at the time, um, I didn't have a place to go, y'all. I didn't. I I had nothing, nothing. If I do one of these lives again, y'all gonna get some stories, and I don't think you're ready for my stories. I don't think nobody ready for my stories. So if you ain't ready, then go on, go on, uh, swipe left. I ain't trying to hurt nobody's feelings, but uh, I ain't have nothing. And I moved into this place where I am now, and I love it. The only thing I don't have is a balcony. I need a balcony so I can grow my own lettuce. But, man, eh, in God's own time. Thomas knew that I had just moved into this place, and I didn't have anything. I was making $9.50 as a... <laughs> Shut up, D. Making $9.50 as a substitute teacher at Allenbrook Elementary School. So I didn't have, you know, money to go out and buy all this stuff, and I didn't want to bother my parents. Here I am, a grown woman, um, and, and couldn't afford to get some of the bare necessities. My friend, my brother, Thomas Horton, thank you, um, was working at Allenbrook, but he was also working at Walmart. Mm-hmm. So Thomas went and got me. He said, I need for you to come by the store one night before you go to your apartment. I said, okay. So I came by the store, and Thomas had a full set of pots, a casserole dish. If I keep talking about this, I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry but because this is what friends do. This, when you down and out, and somebody just says, hit... I got you. We know we got folks like that. Yeah. I know I do. Um, and Thomas really looked out for me. So, as bad as I need new pots, <laughs> I can't part with them. Because they're from him. So, even if I get new ones, I'm going to probably still keep those. And they cook nice and even and... Make my food so pretty. Anyway, so I took my veggies out of my oil. It's going to go back later. Right now, I'm going to get ready to do my fish. Okay? So this is my beautiful perch. I'm trying to eat right, y'all. I'm trying to eat right. At 44 years old. Um... Because what I'm finding is, ladies, ladies, chime in anytime. But after a certain age, um, you can eat a peanut. And it seemed like you just, the fat lady singing at the end of the opera. Is it just me? Yeah, Tina. I'm, 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 I'm teaching here 
because I don't eat a lot. I really, really don't. And I eat when I, I eat salads every day. Lord knows I do. Um, you know, the system is functioning the way it's supposed to function. Um, everything is all gravy. But I cannot get rid of this weight. And it bothers me. It bothers me. That's why, like, me doing a live on Facebook is like, because normally, like, I can put, can, you know, do my little contouring and stuff, and I can pose a certain way that you can't see all the, all of that. But uh, for me to be doing this right now, I told you he doing a new thing. He is doing a new thing, child, because, ooh. All right. That's going. I'm going to take this perch. Don't bread it, y'all. Black folks, family, cousins, friends. We ain't got to bread all our fish all the time, okay? This is Escovitch. It's not a breaded recipe. See? You're just going to season it. All I did was season it with a little bit of salt, a little bit of onion powder, some uh, ginger, and I used my... Um, Himalayan sea salt, my pink salt, okay? Uh, and you just gonna, you just gonna drop it on in here. That's it. Oh, Just drop it on in there. Let it do what it do. Can, can you see? Mm. I, I need to keep it on the fire now. Just imagine what's happening. Imagine what's happening. All right. Whoo-wee. I will tell you what um, a vice of mine that I have. And I know that's probably with some of the, that red wine. I did make some pieces of my... <laughs> hey! Y'all. Okay. Just a sh I don't want you to be mad about the breading. Okay? Let, let me show you that I'm... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I threw my bread now. I had that um what would y'all be using? That um what's the name of it? What's the name of that bread and we be using the season I fit? That archery. That archery. I threw mine out because I don't need that. I I don't need that because archery archery ends up all over. And I can't handle it. So I'm turning my fish up just a little bit. I just want to get a little browning going. And then um, I'm going to take some of that oil off. And then I'm going to dump that back in there. Okay. Hang tight. We're still, we're still live, folks. We're still live. Um, this is me on a Friday night. Because... After work on Friday, am I talking extra loud? I'm trying not to. White, white go with fish. I know, but white gives me heartburn. So I don't drink white wine. Uh -uh. Can't do it. Yeah, I, I, I just can't. It, give, it literally gives me. I don't care if I take a Pralisec OTC first. It gives me heartburn. I can't. And you can drink any kind of wine you want with whatever you want. Thank you. So, um, as I was saying, James and others, Friday night after work, I don't want to go nowhere. I don't go out after work on Fridays. I want to come home in my little comfort space. This thing is giving me a, I'm going to change this. I'm going to come home in my little comfort space and, um, and, and cook and relax because cooking for me is my, is one of my therapeutic outlets. Um, I just, I enjoy cooking. I enjoy cooking for other people. Hold on, let me turn this. Um, 
Okay, now the funny thing about this is, I'll cook this whole meal. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yo, this is beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. I can cook a whole meal and not eat. I'd rather cook for other people and watch them eat. Um, that's just the way I am. I don't know. So I'm gonna give that a couple minutes on that side and then I'm gonna hold up. I see how that folded up right there. I wonder if I can. Ooh, that's the thing about that hurt. That's all right. We're gonna make it do what it do. This is live. Mistakes are allowed. Mm. Friday night. I'm gonna put a shirt on because this is. You know, I got a shirt on. I got a shirt on. I don't want to button it all the way up in my neck. Mm. Hold on. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Now, I'm going to start my um, fish sauce. I'll show you how I'm going to do that. If y'all tuned in for a quick Friday night recipe, go on and swipe left. This is not the show. This is not the show. Uh, this is not a quick recipe. It's not like stewing oxtails and uh, stuff like that. But it's, it's just a take your time, feel good kind of, mm, it's, it's a Caribbean dish. And Caribbeans don't do nothing fast. Everything is slow and methodical and just, mm. So I'm not rushing this. You might be on this live with me for two hours if you so desire, but I'm not rushing this meal, okay? So, oh. <laughs> I'm going to give it a little bit more time on that side right there. Can y'all hear me? Am I like, when are we starting our restaurant in Logan? <laughs> you tell me and I'm there. Where are you anyway? I don't, I don't know. I don't even know how I feel about a restaurant night. What I really want is a truck. I want a food truck. Yep. Yep. And if I ever hit it big, um, I'm pay all my mama bills. And I'm gonna give me a truck. I want I want a food truck. I want a sugar pearls on wheels. I don't know. We'll see. Let's see. Now, I want to make sure I'm not trying to overdo this fish because it's going to, um, this fish is going to stew a little bit more, um, in the sauce a little bit later on. Okay. So I'm not concerned about cooking it all the way through or overcooking it. Okay. You don't want to overcook fish anyway. I can't stand when people overcook fish and then it end up mushy. Start a truck and we'll pull up. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. That's support. That's support. Let's get one, cuz. Let's do it. Ray. I mean, you do the barbecue on one end. I can do the shrimp and grits on the other end. It's enterprise. Let's get together. The Hispanic families do it. Hispanic families do it all the time. I'm telling you, it's one down the street, bruh. They got a, they call it a taco tinta. And I think they like cousins or something like that. And it seems like there's some different ones every time you pull up. 
But they just got their little taco truck out there every day at the gas station. And I, I promise you, that's, that's how they lift each other up. When you think about it, as a community, we got to do better. We got to do better. We got to start lifting each other up. You got something to offer. You got a talent to offer. Let's hook up. Oh, you sew? Let's hook up. You do this? Let's do that. Let's hook up. You do music? Let's hook up. You know? Everything you need. Everything we need. My mama always told me, she said, girl, you sitting on your money. You sitting on your, like, it's so many things you can do that we just don't take advantage of. We just don't. So I'm, I'm like, really exploring now. Thinking about the things that I love doing and figuring out a way that I can turn it into some dollars. That's what makes sense. Because it don't make no sense to go work no job for somebody else every day. Give my blood, sweat, and tears. And I can't even take no vacation when I want to. That's a problem. But that's my life. So I gotta, I have to change how I think about myself. That's why I took a chance on this Friday night. To try something new. To see what the people say. I'm going to show y'all that in a little bit. But I'm going to take my little ugly pot that Thomas gave me and I'm going to get it prepped and I'll be right back. Don't go nowhere. I'm right here. I'm right here. We live. We are tonight's menu is um, Escovich fish. Escovich. All right. I like to keep my stove clean. That is um, something my daddy always taught me. He's a very neat cook. And he doesn't like grease or sugar sprinkles or salt sprinkles or anything like that. Um, on the stove, you know, while he's cooking. So I always remember that and try to keep my stove clean. All right. Now for the Escovich. I'm putting my, let me get a little bit of olive oil some lemons there oh y'all want to see the, the fish and the, the peppers to make sure I didn't burn nothing hold on I know, I know, girl. For, Erica, I didn't know you had a Jamaican husband, child. Now look here. Don't have him come on here telling me what I'm doing wrong. This is my recipe. <laughs> ah! Recipes are fun. You can just make them your own. Those, um, that coconut I cut up earlier tonight and got that water out of there, almost a pint, 
Guess what? Oh, yeah. I know you ain't never put no coconut in it. Mm hmm. I put it in mine. Well, today I am. It's just all about what you like. You do it how you like. Can't nobody tell you how to do it the way you like to do it. I wish somebody might tell me, oh, you shouldn't do that with it when you... I wish. I wish you would. You tell me what to do with my recipes now. You can offer helpful suggestions. You can say how you do it. But don't tell me that I need to do it your way. Mm -mm. Always the way I want to do it. Now I told you that I was out. Uh, no, I was not going to get any malt vinegar. I didn't have any here. But I had a little red wine. Some of that Pompeian. So we're going to use some of that Pompeian. But before we do that. I'm going to turn up the fire just a little bit. And all this was the coconut water I took off. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Almost a pint of water out of that coconut. I'm going to put a little bit in here from my escabeach. Okay. Then I'm going to add some of the vinegar. A little bit of sugar. And my toasted spices. Don't forget about the toasted spices. Now y'all going to be asking me, what did you say put in it and how much of it do I use? If you were on in the beginning, I told you. I don't know how much. I just, and I don't write recipes. I just go with the flow. It's Friday night. I'm honestly just pull doing stuff as I go mm -hmm. that's what I'm doing and if you're with me that fish know it good mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh gosh, that's good. I still say it's better with red snapper. Red snapper is just a, it's just a good hearty fish. That thing can stand up against anything. Give me a little asagada. I didn't put all the coconut meat in there. Just a little bit. Toasted spices. Mm -hmm. I may add more spices as I go, but right now that's where I'm going to start. I don't know how much I did. But in that toasted spice mixture was um, a little red pepper. All of these are optional. What you should not leave out is that nutmeg. I'm telling you, it'll change your life. Nutmeg, a little onion powder, a little ground ginger, some oregano. I mean, just go with it. I got a teaspoon. I can't tell you how much of that. I got, to, got a teaspoon of sugar. I'm going to just sprinkle on. Oh my God, those, I'm not even using a whole teaspoon. Because I don't want to cook it. Lemon. This is a half a lemon. A few limes. Lime juice. Real lime juice. What am I going to do with these little lime rinds thrown in there? Mm -hmm. 
Turn that heat up a little bit. I don't want these veggies to stew, stew, stew. A little red wine vinegar. Oh. Oh. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I wish you could. I wish you could. in there, it's going to taste so good. Now, any pescatarians out there, you know, it's just a nice way of another fish dish to add to your repertoire. Just another fish dish. That's it. I'm going to taste my sauce. Turn it down. Mm, 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 mm. Oh my. Mm. I'm gonna do a little, little more red wine vinegar though. There we go. Mmm. Mm. All right, all right. So, we're going to let that cook down. Because you really want that coconut meat to tenderize a, a little more. What I probably should have done is uh, saute that coconut meat with the other vegetables that I did not. But that's certainly the preference. Glad I did not put more sugar. Didn't need that much more. And what you what you start to get while it's cooking is this beautiful. See that? See that? See that? Ooh. Oh yes. Beautiful little gravy. That's your fish sauce. I made some uh, rosemary jasmine rice the other night. I'm going to get a little pat of that, and I'm going to have that and some Escovich fish. I dare you to try it for yourself. I forgot about that coconut water. Mm-hmm. I dare you to try it for yourself. So good. Mm-hmm. I'm just adding a little more of what I want. A little more. Himalaya sea salt, a little more uh, ginger. That's it. I can't believe I did this. I'm probably going to regret it in the morning. What? When you bet on you. That's what you get. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, yeah. 
yeah, there we go. Love you too. I'm I'm trying something new, honey. That's the escovitch. That that's your fish sauce. Once you add that little uh, coconut water in there, that you got fresh on your own. I didn't climb the tree, but I mean I I did use use my own hammer and nail to get it, the juice out. Oh my! Let me let that stew just a little bit more. <clears throat> and because this perch is not as sturdy as a red snapper, I don't want it just sitting in the stew and getting soggy, okay? If you had a heavy-duty fish, go on, sit it on in there and just let it stew away. But um, for this one, I'm going to put it eh, about the last minute while I get my rice ready. That is good and bold and bright and delicious. Just delicious. Don't believe me? Try for yourself. Try for yourself, honey. Okay, I am going to, I'm just going to quick fire this, um, this rice microwave it because I cooked it the other day. It's a uh, rosemary jasmine rice, a nice long grain. I got a little bit left. And um, all I have to do is just heat it right on up. I didn't even have to use that lime juice um, from Badia that I bought because I had the lime juice, the real lime that I had had enough juice in it to brighten this whole dish up so okay this is once it comes up to a boil take it down let it reduce just a little bit not too too much but this is what you get that's what you get okay and now with my fish fish and let it go go down go they just kicking up in there just kicking okay once that comes down i'm gonna lay my fish on it and then i'm gonna drown it uh with that sauce all right all right all right we about to see what i've done But this is my Friday night. I'm gonna put on an old school Bruce Lee movie. Probably a Legend of Fist or something like that. Or was the one where he says, uh, you killed my teacher. That one. Or Be Like Roy. One of those I'm watching. But Bruce Lee is definitely on the playlist tonight. Friday night movies. Escovitch, my glass of Cabernet. Mm. I wish you would. I wish you would.
This is what I do. Okay, it doesn't stop laughing a little bit. Let me stick this fish on top. That's my escovitch. Okay? Then you just take your sauce and your veggies and you literally just bathe your fish in it. Just bathe the fish in it. See, it's already reduced and made a nice little gravy. The coconut is a little tender. This is dinner. Let that sit right there. Give me another plate and I'm gonna eat. I'm eating before seven o'clock. Well, I guess I'll be eating by seven o'clock, which is still pretty early. Uh, I don't like eating late. That's why I don't understand where all this weight is coming from. It's like, I don't know. I, I don't understand. I'm just, I'm fluffy. Like that trick. It's one of my little restaurant tricks. Got my rice in there. It's very hot. This is my rosemary rice that I made the other day. Just getting it down in there. Y'all. I do this stuff for myself. Okay, ain't nobody coming here with me tonight. This is for me. Um, appearance and plating and colors are very important to me. So when I'm making food, I, if I'm making it for my lonesome, it's got to look good. It's got to. <laughs> Richie. <laughs> oh, fish bath. Turn your plate upside down. You got your rice here. I got my towel underneath because it's extremely hot. And flip. And what you got is a little rice cone. Mm-hmm. This is how I take care of me. This is my self-care. Right? Oh, buddy. Give me a little piece of fish. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't wait. Some of that gravy going. I don't care if you eating a TV dinner. Did I say dinner? I said dinner. I didn't mean it. I don't care if you're eating a TV dinner. You should always make it look appetizing. Even if you're just making it for yourself. It should be beautiful. You're worth it. You are worth it. That is my dinner. I'm telling you. Yes. Yes. 
Ooh, I made it look even better. Yes, honey. Hold on. Let me let me let me give you a look. Uh, some close up action. Show you how we really get down. Hold on now. Hold on. I need it. I told y'all this is new. Thank you, Reggie. My brother. That's that's dinner. That is that is dinner. Escovitch fish from Sugar Pearls. That's it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Honey, let me tell you. I might not be the best cook. I'll admit. I'm not the best cook. But a sister can throw down. And Dura. Uh, make you wonder where she been all her life. Mm. Where have you been all my life? Carla? Hey, Sheldon. All right, I'm going to try this masterpiece. I've got my Escovitch fish. Mm-hmm. I got my Cabernet Sauvignon. And um we gonna we gonna see how she really get down. Alright, I got some fish, pepper. I'll put a little uh, piece of coconut on there. Mm. I should have cooked the coconut a little longer. I'll admit. That's a lesson learned. But let me tell you. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Ain't a thing wrong with it. Mm, Lord Jesus. Y'all, this is my fish Friday. And it ain't fried. We ain't got to eat fried food all the time. I know. I threw my arteries out and some of y'all mad. We got to live, child. I got to live better. Mmm. That fish sauce and them peppers and the carrots. Mm. You can taste the brightness in it, the lime. Oh my goodness. You could possibly, quite possibly, pay. Twenty twenty five dollars for this meal at some high end restaurant. I made it for me. For that piece of fish cost me seven dollars. The vegetables, I think everything else I bought today came to maybe I think I might have spent twenty something bucks in the store. And I've got three servings of that. Three more servings. So, the funny thing is, I ain't going to want to eat this tomorrow. It's like, okay, I did it. Now I want something different. Mmm, 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 mmm. Did somebody pray? 
D, did you pray? No, she did. I didn't either. Lord, I hope you forgive me. You know I thank you. That was good. Well, y'all, I did something new. I can't believe I did a live. I just wanted to step out and try something different. Maybe I'll do another one. Child, maybe after watching it, I'll be like, oh, gosh, no, I ain't doing no more ever again. As a matter of fact, I'm deleting my account. But when you put yourself out there, hey, you discover things about yourself. So um, please, um, you can look at this video, review it. Maybe you see something about the recipe that you want to add or try for yourself, do it. I see stuff in restaurants and on TV and I'm just like, I think I'm gonna try that. But I ain't gonna write nothing down. I'm gonna just see how I do it. Try it. Um, and we shall see what the future holds. In the meantime, bon appetit. Mmm. Thank you all for hanging out with me. That was so sweet.